Feel the beers. Uh, Chug the beers. Uh, I think they may, they may have stayed up a little too late. Uh, they were supposed to come here, but they, they will be there tonight, no doubt. All right. Well, Mika, you were having fun there. It was like the royal family portrait. It was just amazing. Everybody's <coughs> taking pictures of you. It was great fun. It was fun. It really was. Uh, they, bought, they bought those masks on the street, and then, of course, more people wanted to take pictures with us, so it was really funny. And they actually had them on at the game, too. So. All right. Hockey mentality, mental toughness, they needed it last night because they played Brazil. And Brazil, the world champions. I watched Brazil play against the Czech Republic earlier on in the first match of that. I mean, they are amazing to behold, uh, the, uh, the Brazilian men. Gave them a good match, though. They did. And Brazil was actually one of the favorites to take the gold here. And one of the players on the team, Ricardo, is actually has three medals already from previous Olympics. He's like a wall. He's like he, eight feet high. He's incredible. But Josh and Martin played an unbelievable game. They were so close. And just one point gone their way, maybe here and there, and they could have taken it. So even though they lost, they're still in contention. This is kind of a, an interesting part to beach volleyball because they go into something called, I mean, it doesn't sound very flattering, mm -hmm. but it's called the Lucky Losers. And they play in the Lucky Losers today. Can you explain to me how that works? Yeah, so the way it works is the top two top two teams in each pool move on to the round of 16, and then the top two third place teams move on as well. So the bottom four third place teams, which is where Josh and Martin fall, they have to play this lucky loser match against one of those other teams. That winner then goes on to the round of 16. All right, so fingers crossed, do you know who they're playing at this point? We don't know who they're going to play until probably about 10 p.m., which is an hour before their match. 10 p.m.? That gives Team Canada lots of time to get, um, shall we say, prepared okay. for the cheering. They can recover from last night and get set for tonight. Well, we're going to have to spend our day looking for tickets because it's been really hard finding tickets. So we're, we're hoping that somehow we can find tickets. You don't tickets. have tickets for this? We don't have tickets. Oh, no, I can't even help you. I have help with that. All right, well, hopefully you'll be able to. But don't buy them from a tent because you'll be in trouble. That oh. is very, very uh, frowned upon here. Okay. Anyway. Just, just encapsulate what the beach volleyball venue is. We, we, we can't show you because it's out of here, but it's it, within horse guards where the queen's guards are normally based. So the most historic of sites. And in the middle of this, all of this sand from Canada. You know, the sand comes from Canada, interestingly enough. And it's just got the most electric atmosphere. It is by far. I mean, I haven't even been to another venue, but I've seen a lot on TV. And this has got to be the best venue ever. Just walking there, as you mentioned, to, to see all the horse guards and, and everything like that is incredible just to take in the view. And then once you're in there, 15,000 people screaming, cheering for my brother and, and uh, Martin. It's incredible. It's something I'll we'll never forget. <laughs> and leading the charge, Captain Canuck and Dad, even though you didn't, get, didn't want to talk, it's good to have you here. The whole family support. Oh, shy Howie. <laughs> Look how nervous Bean is. That a boy, Bean. Nice.